Hello students, welcome to class 9 computer applications. So the chapter that we are going to discuss today is cyber safety. This is the part 2 of this particular chapter. I hope you have already watched part 1 of this chapter. If you haven't, then you can always check out. I've given the link in the description. So today we are basically going to discuss about the tracking prevention strategies. So in the previous class, what we saw, we saw that there are different ways in which websites track us. So today we are going to discuss how to prevent websites from tracking us. So let's go and learn about the techniques in which we can prevent ourselves while we are online. So the solutions to prevent tracking. What are the solutions to prevent tracking? First is anonymous browsing. Second is private browsing. Under private browsing, there are several techniques. We'll discuss three of them. The first is incognito browsing. Second is proxy. And the third is VPN or virtual private network. So let's start off with anonymous browsing. So what is the meaning of the word anonymous? Anonymous means hiding your identity. If you do not want to disclose your identity, but still want to do something, then it is known as anonymous. So what do we mean by anonymous browsing? So there are certain websites that allow users to view websites without revealing any personal informations like IP address. So what is the main thing in which by which websites can track us? Websites can track us by IP address. I have already discussed about IP address in the previous part. IP address is a numerical label which is attached to every device connected to a network. So if you want to hide your IP address, we need to use certain web browsers, okay? So these websites lets users to access websites anonymously. So if we use certain web browsers which allows anonymous browsing or certain websites which allows anonymous browsing, we can hide our IP address. So it can be used as a tool for governments, journalists and security conscious users. So generally, governments uses various sensitive data. So they don't want them to be tracked. Why? Because if they will be tracked, they may be vulnerable to attacks. So sensitive personalities um, and institutions of governments, journalists and security conscious users, they generally use anonymous browser. So for example, a very popular browser is there, which is called as Tor browser. Tor browser is such a browser which is used to do anonymous browsing. So I'll explain it to you here. So hiding IP address with Tor browser. So what I have did, what I did, I checked my IP address with the help of three browsers, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and Tor browser. So see here, here the first one means this one. So if I say this one, this is your this I have done in Internet Explorer. This I have done in, sorry, not Mozilla Firefox. This I have done in Google Chrome. So here, what you are seeing as my IP, my IP address is 110.235.197.173. This I am getting in Internet Explorer. If I check my IP address in Google Chrome, I am getting the same IP address in Google Chrome. So if you want to know how to check your IP address, there is a website called www.whatismyip.com. If you just uh, give that address in any web browser, you will get your IP address. So this is my actual IP address. But see here, the interesting thing is that when I used this particular website, whatismyip.com, in a Tor browser, I am getting a fake IP. IP. I'm getting the IP as 109.201.133.100. So how can I say that this is a fake IP? Because when I did it through Internet Explorer and Google Chrome, what, whatever IP I am getting, that is not matching with the IP in the Tor browser. Also see, they have hided my location. So my location has been shown here as Rosendal and B New Zealand. Okay, but I'm not in New Zealand, I'm in Guwahati Assam. So with the help of IP uh, Tor browser, what you can do, you can hide your IP address. How to check your IP address? You can check it by visiting the website www.whatismyip.com. Next, let us go to private browsing. So what do you mean by the word private? Private means personal. 
if you do not want to disclose your identity and various other things then you can do what you can do private browsing so what is it it is a type of browsing in which the browser is opened in incognito mode or through proxy or vpn and does not store cookies about your online activity so i'll come to these terms incognito mode proxy and vpn separately but in the previous part we saw that one of the ways in which websites track us was what was cookies so with the help of private browsing we do not we do not allow the cookies to track us by using all these three techniques so let's go to the first technique which is the incognito mode or incognito browsing so what is it it is a type of browsing in which a version of browser opens up which do not track your activity if you do not want that someone else searches uh, sees your web history web browsing history and if you want to hide your personal information what you can do you can do incognito browsing so for doing incognito browsing there are several websites or several search engines like DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is a search engine with the help of which you can do this incognito browsing. So you can just go to Google and search for DuckDuckGo and from DuckDuckGo you can search several information just like you do in Google. But the thing is whenever you search any information in Google, Google tracks you but DuckDuckGo does not track you. This is the advantage of using DuckDuckGo. In some cases tracking is good but in some other cases tracking is not good so if you want to want your browsing history to not be checked then what you will do you can use the website DuckDuckGo okay actually this is not a website this is a private search engine so let's see the incognito mode in Google Chrome so this is the normal mode in Google Chrome so if you just click on Google Chrome, you will get a screen like this in your computer. But if you want to enable incognito mode in Google Chrome, what you need to do at the top right corner, you will see three dots. And if you click on these three dots, you will get several options. Out of those, there is one option called new incognito window. If you click on new incognito window, you will get a window like this in black color now whatever you search through this particular window it cannot be tracked by the website so a very popular and useful use of incognito mode is during flight ticket booking you know that the uh, prices of flights keeps on fluctuating so let's say you want to go to uh, delhi on 12th july so if you want to go to delhi on 12th july let's say you open makemytrip.com and you are, you are searching for the uh, flight ticket prices so when you search for the flight ticket prices let's say you got the ticket prices as at 10,000 10, but you didn't book it immediately you waited for two three days and then again you went to make my trip and again you search for the same date and the same flight then let's say you are getting the prices 13,000 now how has the flight price increased from 10,000 to 13,000 now make my since you have visited this website twice make my trip is now sure that you are anyhow going to uh, Delhi on 10th July so what they did they have increased the prices so if you want to prevent websites like make my trip to track you so what you can do you can browse this flight data with the help of incognito mode which is there in google chrome and it is there in almost all the modern web browsers they may be given a different name but it's there in almost all the browsers so if you use samsung browser it is known as secret mode in mozilla firefox also it may be known by a different name okay this is the incognito mode so the thing is that if you use incognito mode they cannot send you cookies and thereby they cannot track your browsing history next is your proxy so what is proxy proxy may be defined as websites that are designed to increase your privacy on the web by hiding your the public ip address issued by your isp and routing all the traffic through different public servers and addresses so whenever you apply for an internet connection you are being given an 
IP address by your internet service provider. ISP means internet service provider. But there are certain websites, those websites are known as proxy websites. With the help of these proxy websites, you can hide your IP address. So some of the uh, popular web proxy websites are given here. You can just uh, use this websites and you can browse anonymously through the web next is vpn or virtual private network so what is vpn a vpn allows you, you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet so when you send data over the internet your data may be leaked by some third party now when you use vpn your data cannot be leaked that is one advantage the other and the most important uh, use in which uh, users use VPN is that they use it by to pretend themselves to be from a different location. Let's say you want to watch a web series on Netflix, but it is currently banned in India, but it is not banned in the US. So what you can do using VPN, you can uh, fake your location that you can you can give them the feeling that you are in united states and if you browse uh, netflix from united states now you'll be able to see that particular website okay so vpn can be used to access region restricted websites the example that i gave just now to that shields your browsing activity from prying eyes on public wi-fi and more so as you know that Wi-Fi network are less secured as compared to public networks. So if you use VPN in Wi-Fi network, then also it is more secure and reliable as compared to a normal connection. So some examples of VPN service provider are as follows. Okay, so these are some examples you can use any of the VPN. Some are free and some are paid. Okay, so I hope that this session was useful. I'll see you in the next part.